Hello fellow Sudokans and welcome to Zen and the Art of the Guardian Sudoku Puzzle. It's Sunday the 1st of September 2024. I hope you are keeping well. I just got back a short time ago from the animal hospital with my cat uh, who wasn't able to do have his scheduled um, treatment today. He's got to go back again tomorrow for that because he had to have his emergency enema today. And uh, <coughs> as soon as we got in and I let him out of the basket. He immediately vomited everywhere. Oh God. I've been trying to clean up and he's still at it now. Um, I shall finish this game of Sudoku first and go and clean up a bit more. The poor thing, really, he does have some real difficult, some real problems at the moment. Uh, okay, what's going on in the rest of the world, apart from my <laughs> cleaning uh, uh, chores? Um, apparently, Athens in Greece, according to the Guardian, uh, is uh, uh, really difficult to walk. On, it's really difficult to walk on the pavements there. Uh, apparently, um, people have been complaining about falling and tripping and over, you know, various obstructions and uh, breakages, etc., etc. I was thinking we ought to twin Athens with Bangkok because <laughs> here in Bangkok, the pavements in most parts of the city are really terrible. Where I live actually around here, which is full of Chinese tourists uh, and Chinese businesses now, it's uh, changed a lot in the last, say, 15 years. Um, we have a lot of Chinese tourists and they don't realize that at some points along the pavement here, there are kind of electric pylons stuck on the pavement and it means you actually have to walk in the road or maybe you could kind of uh, uh, twinkle toe your way around the inside of it um, to uh, stay on, stay out of harm's way but uh, you know sometimes you just have to walk in the in the road uh, and cars don't uh, are very unforgiving to pedestrians here so uh, if you're coming to Bangkok watch out for the pavements uh, Athens I don't know but um, I, I can't imagine that it's any worse than we have here Let's get on with the game of Sudoku, shall we? This is the LA Times Expert Level Puzzle. I can see something. I see the 2 and the 9 blocking down here, which means that those squares are going to be 2 and 9. So we found a little New York Times style pair. So this is going to not be 2 or 9. It's going to be 4, 5, 7. And look at that, 4, 5, 7, all in different rows. So, so much for that. But shall we investigate here just in case? So we've got 4, 5, 7. We're looking for... Uh, well, I guess everything in here, right? One, three, eight, six. Those are four numbers left, right? The four numbers in this, this block here. So one, three, eight, six. Uh, and uh, that's no good either. Okay, let's try looking for something easier. <clears throat> it just caught my attention. As you know, I don't play to any kind of plan. I just uh, call things out as I see them, whatever it is. Where are, where are our easy digits? Okay, I'm going to have to tre tre uh, trek through the grid bit by bit, looking for some easy numbers. Are there any easy numbers? Just about. We've got seven blocking those two squares, seven blocking this square, and seven blocking this square. So at, f at last I found something. And seven blocking down here, down here, and across there. 
means that 7 will be in that square. Eight blocking up here and eight across here puts eight into one of these two squares, blocking down. Eight across here. There's our eight. Okay, we've got 1, 3, and 9 blocking across there. That puts 1, 3, and 9 into those squares there and leaves us here with 2 and 6. So 6 blocking across here, across here, and down there will give us a 6 there. 6 down here and down there means that's a 6. Eight blocks this square and this square in this column, so there's our eight. <coughs> uh, we have eight across here, across there, and up there. Uh, wait a minute, I just said 2 and 6 in those squares, didn't I? 3, 1, 9, 3 blocking across, that's 1, 9, 3. This is 2 and 6, so actually we've got 2 across here. 2 blocks up here like this, so 2 is in one of those squares blocking across, and 2 down there, we can get our 2 there. Now 9 blocking down here will give us 9 in this square. 9 across here and across here and down here will give us 9 there. 9 down here and 9 down there says that's a 9. 9 across here puts 9 into one of these squares blocking up and 9 across there. There's another 9. don't think we can finish them off though, can we? Because we've got this pattern left. Uh, actually, we've got 1 and 9 across there, so that's a pair of 1 and 9. So this is also a 1. So let's see. 1 blocking up there puts 1 into one of these squares. Does that help? Um, hmm. Yeah, okay. So we've got 1 in one of these squares blocking across. We've got 1 blocking up here, so 1... Then we'll be in one of these two squares, blocking down, one across here, there's one. Three blocking across here like this gives us three in that square. Uh, 267 in this row, uh, we don't have any of those 26 or 7 in this column, and so they will be in those three squares there and leave me here with a 1. And in fact, 2 we already have here, so that's going to be our 2 because this obviously blocks those two squares, so this will be the 2. And 6 and 7 will be in those squares there. Let's fill in the 6 there.
two blocks across here and two blocks down there and there's our two two this way this way down and down why isn't two finished ah because we've still got twos to get in those squares that's why three blocks across here and there's a three six blocks down here there's the six this will be a four four blocking up there and up there means that's a four four across here will give me four in that square now we know four is in one of these missing squares here blocking down four across here four across there there's a four four blocking up here four across here and there and there's a four um, and still not finished with the fours I've got those to do <coughs> in fact we don't have any completed digits yet I can't believe it it feels like we've been going for quite a long time we ought to have some completed digits somewhere but no we don't hold on no three across here three across here will give me a three in that square three up there three up there will give me a three here three across here and three up there will give me three there three blocking this square and this square and this square will give me a three there and then three down to the bottom down here and across and across there means we do have a complete digit now completed digit now it's three that's finished missing up here looks like a five to me five blocking down oops five blocking down here five is in one of actually one of these two squares blocking down and five across there so that would be a five need a seven in this need a seven in this column here seven blocks here there's the seven missing digit here is uh, nine I think okay nine across this way across that way there's a nine here we need a one there we need a one because of the one blocking across there of course uh, in fact what is missing here five and eight do we know no we don't not yet what's missing over here six and eight I think no six oh yes eight blocking down there there's the eight and there is the six six blocking up here gives us six in that square this is going to be one and seven we've got one blocking here so that's going to be the one that's going to be the seven and seven needed at the end here uh, seven across here and across there for seven there last number two place here is a five I think and this has to be a four four back this way and down there there's a four three four seven and nine are all done there's one number missing here that's surely a five and the missing digit here is six I think Uh, what's left to be what's left to do one can we get the ones not sure two can we get the twos yep two blocking up there puts two into that square and that means that is a one and so one blocking down here and up there means that's one uh, two blocks across here and up there so twos are finished this is an eight eight blocks down here there's the eight and only a five we need to finish so much easier than other puzzles I think um, that's it uh, for me for a while and I'll see you around for more Sudoku certainly this week 
But what days I'll get a chance to play, I just don't know. But I'll do my best to get in at least one game every day. I'll see you around. Bye-bye.